in Stop the Fake News. There we go. Submitted by Killamsa. Killamsa. Oh, it's a Korean. Yeah, Killamsa. Uh, spreading fake news on social media could become a crime in Ireland. Hey, that's pretty cool. Isn't, Back that here? All, isn't everything fake news on social media? Yeah. Sometimes I'd be retweeting fake news. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh? What about like the the newspaper things that those tabloids that we have that are all fake? You know what sucks about me? It's just sometimes I just like read stuff real quick, right? They're like, hey man, can you retweet? This is some serious shit going on. I'm like, all right, and I just retweet it. But I shouldn't do that. I should be looking at it to see if it's real. Yeah, you're oh. spreading. Yeah, but the problem with that is it requires work. True. So I just want to be a good person on like a glance. Mm. Just do the minimum. Yeah, but I'm not doing that anymore because the last thing I retweeted was a little fakey fake. What was it? What was it was it? something, it was that girl Angelina who- Angelina girl? Yeah. So I fucked up on that real quick. Wait, what engine the girl? Rihanna and everybody was oh, retweeting yeah, yeah. that shit, and then I just saw. Oh, that's the other Sintoya. Yeah, and I didn't hear the whole story about what happened. All I saw was rape, yeah. little girl, and I was like, retweet. I don't think so. <laughs> but I didn't read that whole story. I caught a little flack behind it, which was okay, because it was my bad. Yeah, still good intentions. Yeah, I had good intentions, but bad results. Yeah. What's even the news on TV, they have some kind of fake news. Oh. Yeah, there's happened so many times where we're about fake to talk about a story news. on JK News, but then we try not to give you guys fake news if we know that it's it's fake. Yeah, we try not to do it <laughs> if, it's, if we know that it's fake. And so there's sometimes we're like, oh, I just found out that that thing is fake, and then we don't do it. I'm not, not gonna to trust it. them because they told us that there's weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and there isn't. Who? The media? The media. From 2000? Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's where it all is. He just wanted to put it out He's there. He's still holding on to He's it. He's still yeah. not yeah. believing yeah. it. When I was in high go. school and I saw that shit and it didn't happen, I was like, I know what you did, bitch. You just wanted to get oil. You think I'm stupid, huh? I'm 17, but I know, motherfucker. <laughs> I know. You wanted oil. Exactly. So you're probably a 9-11 conspirator? As well. I don't know about that. All I'm saying is that w there was no reason to go inside Iraq. No reason but oil. Osama wasn't d hanging out there. Why the fuck are we going in there? It don't make no sense. So the news said, hey, American people, we're going to make these guys the demons so Bush and his Texaco can go up in there and fucking take all the oil. That's why. Bitch. <laughs> 2000. 2000. I remember motherfuckers. CNN. All of you motherfuckers. Fuck you. Be, Fuck you. Die slow, motherfucker. My phone call <laughs> makes sure all your kids don't grow. That's all I wanted to say. That's 2001. 2001. 2001. No, that was 1994, was it? Tupac. I quote from Hit Em Up. No, the whole event. <laughs> oh. He's just in his own world right now. <laughs> Time traveling shit going on. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. 1969. Atlanta I got a little moved. excited. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just. Oh, it's the spirit of Pac that went inside you, man. I'm you sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's the spirit I of Pac. I think the Philippines, and I can speak on behalf. I think the Philippines could benefit from a law like that. Mm. I think they are think the really master crazy. of perpetuating fake news. Oh, no. oh, yeah? And I think that it's very detrimental to a, a third world country like that because just the masses in general, like the people living in the province who aren't so like savvy with the internet, they're more prone to believing these things, including mm -hmm. like someone like my mom, who's an educated person, but because she's not like familiar with Facebook or how like media is presented these days, she looks at like an article that looks seemingly real and she's like, oh, yep, that's that's real. That has to be mm. real. There are pictures there. Mm. It's, you know, it's formatted this way. Is this before or after she's pumping water from a hole? <laughs> <laughs> You'll can like, we show that video, please? <laughs> no, you guys can Google it. I feel like Asian parents, right? If they read it in a newspaper, if they heard from a friend, those two things, it defeats scientific evidence. If my friend told me, that shit's beyond evidence and facts. Yeah. Like if That's they heard it, flat earthers came around. Yeah. Like I, I'm pretty sure my parents would be flat earthers if their friends told them that the earth was flat. Dude, fucking Korean newspapers ruined my life as a kid. Fucking, my dad would read anything on that shit and it was just truth. This will beat my ass because he told me that it, it's impossible for me to go to a college if I don't get a perfect 1600 on the SATs. I was like, where'd you read that? Korean newspaper. Who the fuck, who the fuck is this guy? Who is he? Yeah. 
always got my ass beat because of that shit. Oh, there was this huge fad in Korea where drinking pee was great too because of the Korean newspaper. <laughs> no! What? So yeah. a lot of Koreans started drinking pee pee? Yeah. Oh no! But you know what? Koreans are gullible as hell because my best friend is Korean. And one time I told her that she couldn't do a sit up with her eyes closed, that it was like physically and humanly impossible. <laughs> like you were just trolling. Oh, yeah, I was just trolling her. So she was like, she's one of those like super competitive people. She's like, I could fucking do that, bitch. Hmm? So she closed her eyes, she did a sit up, and I spread my ass cheeks. And <laughs> it perfectly landed on my. Sneaky tofu, bitch. <laughs> I know, that's exactly. We should have the sneaky awesome. tofu. You're fun. I want to be yeah. with you. Yo, you don't, because you'll, you'll be having face. asshole in your She's like, I want to fucking motorboat your ass. You actually think of like fucking around like that. That's kind of funny. I don't know. Keep you want an asshole in your face. Like, <laughs> no, I don't. I should have said that in another video. Other cool shit. This one just came out weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Awesome to watch. Wouldn't want ass on my nose. <laughs> Not the ass part. But anyway, so Ireland here. So they're proposing a new law where it would be a crime to spread fake news. If they caught you with oh. those automa automated bots that just spread mm -hmm. all these like fake news, then you would be, uh, you could be punishable in prison up to five years. That's dope. I like that. Thank you, lot. Lucky Charms. Yeah. You are a motherfucking awesome. It's really good. Yeah, because they're saying like the lawmakers, they are, um, they have speculated with the whole 2016 U.S. election, how the Russians and the whole like fake news really swayed the election, and also um, the whole Brexit vote, because there was a lot of fake news mm. that swayed people to get out of the uh, EU, and so they're just saying like we don't want that shit happening in Ireland. So if we catch anyone that has bots. They're going to prison. Damn. Um, awesome. I like that. They should just die. <laughs> or that. Bless you. <laughs> just people, get killed. Irish people are just the fair skinned versions of Korean people. What? Because they're angry? They're angry mm, and they drink a lot. Oppression, too. Mm. Oppressed. Oppressed people. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't going to go that deep. You smart as fuck. I was thinking about I was just thinking about the beer and the fucking fighting. Oh, that's really about beer it. And fighting. Yeah, we'd like to drink a lot and we fucking fight a lot. Yeah. That's all I know. And very, very quick to anger. Mm, you drink it. fucking fight or fucking fight? Oh, fucking fucking fight, bro. Fucking like, fight, got it. Yeah. I thought drink, fuck, and fight. No, Korean people are too angry to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> they get sleepy after they get angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're also mentioning here that they'll be like, if it that so the whole five year in prison thing would be if it's like high level, that would be a high level punishment. But then low level punishments would be like six months in jail or like a six hundred dollar fine. What's low level punishments for? Like if you tell like, oh, a new species of squirrels are moving into town and it's not doesn't really affect anyone, then you get that. But then if you tell something that's really on a like national scale, then you get in big trouble. I think it's more if you're trying to sway people in like. Not about the squirrels. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what can I get away with? In <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lie today. What the fuck do I lie about? Yeah, I think it's more like uh, trying to to sway people in a political sense. Oh. I hope parody is safe from this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be safe. Because, I mean, like the people onion. are taking comedy so serious these days. Oh, yeah. Like, you're not supposed to take it serious. It's supposed to be stupid. I hate that shit. Why do you take comedy serious? I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, and I don't know how, like... Why do you give me a voice? I don't understand, man. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> You don't want to have a voice? No. I just want to talk and like, you know, like let's let's play with the fun. Let's let's just play with the hypothetical, you know? But then it's like when you take it from the fucking dream world into the reality world and then you take what I say 100% to your soul, then you're the fucking idiot. Not me. Cuz you're if you're listening to an idiot, then you're fucking stupid. You think the blame is like on the uh, English teachers? where people don't speak English well enough, or you think it's like at home where the parents aren't teaching the kids how to receive information? Maybe it's because the parents are just a bunch of pussies. And they just fucking just, just don't know how to take a joke either. And so their kids don't know how to take a fucking joke, and so their kids become fucking sensitive. Yeah. And so it's just a bunch of fucking floppy dicks and pussies all over the place. There are some people like who are like terminally unfunny, where they just, they just do not have a sense of humor. Or unimaginative. Yeah, yeah, they can't imagine that any information they receive could like make make them giggle. Like some people are just fucking duds. Isn't yeah. that called uh, Asperger's? Oh, like they take everything literally? Yeah. Like you can't 
I think it's even worse actually. Yeah, what, you can't read sarcasm? Cause some, cause you can't some read those sarcasm. emotions. Yeah, everything is literal. Because some people will be like, hey, imagine uh, your kid's on fire. Or like, imagine you're on fire. Like, oh my God, why would you say that? I would never yeah, want to be yeah, on yeah, fire. Yeah, like yeah. I said, well, imagine, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. saying Aspergers. Yeah. I, th I literally thought you said Aspergers. I just okay. can't pronounce it. <laughs> How do you pronounce it the proper way? It's just Aspergers. So you said it right, I just. Aspergers. Asbugas. <laughs> it's the opposite of that, right? As so like one is like too logical yeah. and not sensitive at all. Yeah. Right. But then what's the other one, the hypersensitive one? That even they can't even play with the hypothetical. Is that the uh, They can't empathize actually. Ass. Are they are they empaths? empaths? They actually can't yeah, empathize because you go, can you imagine this? And they can't even put themselves in that situation to examine it from a different perspective. No, they they put it in so much to the point where they see the burning child and they go, Oh no, I can't even imagine that oh, anymore. Oh, it's too much empathy. Yeah, it's too much. Fuck too much. Walk in front of a car, please. Too much imagination. <sighs> That's that's kind of you know what I do have a cousin that can't even watch like Roadrunner type of violence. Oh what? shit! You know, meet me, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Like a piano cartoon. following following yeah, yeah. on a cartoon. Yeah. Come on. Oh no! So is yeah. he trauma? Like, did he experience trauma? No, she she's like uh, what like uh, in her forties. But yeah, uh, her dad was super abusive. Wow. So any 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 sign of aggression. It's like a trigger. Any type of even if it's like. Like a cartoon that's going boing boing boing, <laughs> fucking like <laughs> shit. Oh, bye, bye, yep. bye. Freaking Aww. out. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Super sensitive. So if she like... goes to like a county fair and people are shooting like teddy bears down, like she thinks it's like actual hunting. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw that shit oh, yeah. and she was like, oh, I can't fucking say it. Dude, I fucking yeah. love aggression. Aggression is one of my favorite things on earth. I watch <laughs> Korean to the max. I watch <laughs> I watch street fights to go to sleep. It's fucking tight. You know those fucking when they catch an MMA fight out of nowhere? Oh, I love that. I love that fucking fun. shit, dude. I can't do that anymore. It brings me to a bad place. I'm trying to be more zen these days, dude. I'm not suppressing it, but I'm trying to control this. I want to feel more relaxed. I want to be like a dandelion in the morning just fucking opening up like this. I don't want to be like somebody that wakes up in the morning and wants to bite somebody in the neck, rip their fucking throat out, put my hand inside, grab their fucking heart, put it on my plate and eat that shit for breakfast. I don't want to do that. You're like Bruce Banner, bro. I don't want to do that. I want to relax. Please, please. I just want to be a dandelion, just blow me, and I fucking go into the wind. That's a little too sexual, bro. Tone it back a little bit. <laughs> Is that sexual? I just want someone to blow. I just want someone to blow. I, I I saw like a ballet, like I was a ballerina just spinning and twirling, like I was like that fucking, you know. <laughs> you blew too. Yeah. You know that Chinese ballet shit, that Chen Wun and shit? <laughs> it's on all the billboards. <laughs> With the fucking two plates. Yeah. yeah. You just want plates. That's all you want. I just want plates. Everywhere. Is that shit playing everywhere? I yeah. see that ad like all over the world. world. I saw that shit yeah. in France. Yeah. I saw that shit internationally. Yeah, we dude. saw it. God, we saw damn. it last year everywhere. I think we were like in Italy or something. And I'm like, what the fuck? Damn, it's like yeah. a Chinese show. Do you know anyone show. who's actually been to those shows? No. Because I don't. It looks horrible. I heard, I, I forgot who it was, but someone it's I know. trafficking for sure. <laughs> <laughs> someone for I know sure. went to it and they said it was really good. I grew up going to shows like that with my mom and they were boring as fuck. <laughs> what if it's like Chinese Cirque? <laughs> that doesn't sound boring at all. <laughs> Man, I, mean, I, I know what you're talking about though. Because like I feel like my sense of entertainment when it comes to those things is on your level. Because when I see that, I'm like, well, great getting a job somewhere else, bitch. <laughs> I don't know where, why, yeah. you know, like, I don't see that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's the only thing I think of. Mind you, if I see two people cage fighting, I see skill level. I see, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's skill level too. Yeah. It's just who gives a fuck. You Man. know what I mean? It's what I think. If there's 50 Chinese people on a bicycle that are spinning plates. That's the carpool oh, wow. lane. That's, a, <laughs> that's, that's a normal day in Vietnam, dude. We call that a Saigon taxi. <laughs> <laughs>